BP Con with James Dandert. So I've really looked up to, like, well, I've been listening to you forever. I've been here for two years listening to your presentations, like trying to run construction and really just trying to do fix and flip effectively. One of the biggest hurdles, no doubt, in our business, and I think a lot of people's business, is working with contractors. But what is your kind of, yeah, I mean, what has been your kind of best practices, especially for people like they're starting out that might be intimidated on doing a fix and flip because of the contractors? Yeah, with contractors, you got to interview a lot and you got to source them out. So we're constantly looking for more and more contractors to build the relationship with. But the thing that's worked best for us, especially like right now, the last two years, has been the worst part of construction because the labor market is so tight. So what we like to do is just motivate them and incentivize them, yes. right? Because everyone wants to nickel and dime, they want to complain at them. So we try to bring more positive energy with them. Yep. So the good guys, we motivate well. So right now we're even cutting them into equity of the deals. Oh, wow. Where yeah. they're, and, and what it's done is motivate them to go faster, right? They get a percentage of the profit, they're getting things done fast, or we'll offer large cash bonuses. Say, hey, if you get it done in this eight week, we'll pay you five grand or whatever it is, just to get them in the deal because they kind of block out the rest of it and they focus on your job. Their other jobs might be going slower, but it's yours true. get done. They got, yeah, they got yeah. skin in the game. Love it. Well, what would you say too to like when you're trying to build a pipeline of contractors? Like obviously you've been doing it for a while. We have too, yep. but people who are just trying to go, maybe they want to get bids from multiple people, but they don't know where to start. So we do a lot of different things. Can't tell all my dirty <laughs> secrets, but honestly, one of the best ways you can do is drive for dollars. Really? People are like, drive for dollars means go find a house. No, no, no. Drive for dollars means get resources. Resources will get you more houses. Got it. And so when you're driving around, you know, what we will do is we'll see what properties are sold. We see it sold in an LLC okay. as a fixer. We go drive those like once every two weeks, see okay. who's working. We stop in, we talk to them, see what work they're doing, get their information, they haven't bid out stuff. Yeah. That's one of them. We got lots of them. So, and last one is, what do you do to kind of, so you've talked about the profit share, but when you're trying to build that relationship, especially with a brand new contractor that you just met on a site, like getting them to buy in and be like, hey, come check out one of our jobs. Like anything, any tricks you do to, try to really, because it's all about the relationship at the start. Yeah, just like anything, it's about how you communicate with people. And okay. so like, what we like to do is just say, hey, we're investors. The good thing is we have lots of projects going forward. You know, we can give you up to 10 to 20 jobs a year, keep you busy and we'll pay you fast. We're the fastest payers, that's our thing. Like if you need a deposit check, we're getting a check. As soon as you're done, they're getting a check that day. And so we're, we're speed to pay. Like get them the check, get the money in their hand, that makes them happy, keeps them going forward. And then also one of the things that we like to do is we like to let them know that we're professionals. So when we meet with them and talk to them, we bring our budget. We say, hey, this is how we calculated the budget. Does that seem reasonable? Okay. And if they go, no, this doesn't seem reasonable, where can we fix this so we know going in? And so instead of going, I need you to get this down to my budget, I go, hey, can we talk to you? So that way, when we buy a house, we already know it's gonna work for you as a contractor. You're acting like you're more partners with them, right? rather than, hey, I just need you to hit my budget. So listen to them, communicate to them, and then update your budgets with what they're saying. It brings them into the deal they feel a part of. Love it. Well, yeah. man, James, really appreciate this. This is super helpful. I know you're active on social media, but where can people reach out to you if they have questions on construction? The uh, best place is probably on Instagram at jdaneflips, or go to YouTube at Project RE. We do a ton of free education about contractors, bidding things, underwriting deals, performance, contracts, free education. Good stuff. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate your time. Yeah, for sure, guys.